You know, even with all this recent rain, mm. the drought is still here, which is causing headaches for local venues planning their fall festivities. Kate, the case, Ash and Anderson spoke with Yesterland Farms, but all the obstacles they're having to overcome right now. Mm -hmm. She now joins us live with more about that. Ashland. Yesterland Farms in Canton is preparing for their fall opening season, and some of their main attraction is taking a while to bloom. The extreme heat and drought this summer has caused Yesterland Farm to make a few changes to their watering schedule. Our soil is very sandy, so we had to program our irrigation to run 24-7. They also had to replant their corn and sunflowers several times, causing a delay. Just to ensure that we were going to have a corn maze this year, we had to replant multiple times to get it to take and to grow. Bozeman says corn grows fast, and the recent rain should help them catch up and be ready for their opening September 17th. But everything is thriving now. We've been able to survive the drought, and now we're finally getting some rain. As for pumpkins, they will be brought in from what is considered the pumpkin capital of the USA, Floydata, which is near Lubbock. And for a pumpkin that just has a nice size and color to it, a variety of sizes and colors um, in our photo displays to really give a nice depth for people for their photos. The farm has a new pumpkin cannon that people can use on targets. It's the only one of its kind in all of Texas. The farm didn't suffer much from flooding. Some of the displays washed away, but workers were able to put them back where they belong. In Canton, Ashlyn Anderson, KTK News.